What's up, everybody? Hi, guys. I'm Ben. And I'm Rainy. And that's Indy. And we're from the Journals of Awakening. With another podcast for you. That's right. What are we going to talk about here today, Rainy? Today, we're going to talk about different educational methods. What? Yeah. Schooling? Yeah. Okay. So... What about school? All right. I have tons of experience. I quit every school I ever started. Well, there you go. So you already got Mm -hmm. one leg up on me. Yep. Quit high school, quit college. Two up. I think quitting high school wasn't entirely your fault, but that's another story. I got my GED. There you go. So, please hold. There's a cat, and he wants inside because he sees all the love that this one's getting. So, in... We have the American public school system, government funded. Oh, she was going to hit you. <laughs> um, and then there's other methods of school. We have private schooling where you pay tuition. Homeschooling. Montessori schooling. Yeah. Um, there's another type of schooling. Is she trying to hit you? Um, there's another type of schooling called... It's like Montessori... Oh, Waldorf. Waldorf? Waldorf. So, basically, the public school system that's government funded is is paid for, so it's basically the shittiest education, right? So yeah, it's free, obviously. It's indoctrination. You know, they don't pay the teachers enough, even though they're telling the teachers what to teach, and teachers are shaping the minds of children, because... You know, the government probably sees teachers as, like, little robot minions, but teachers are, like, yeah. real people. It's like the one that tattooed his entire body. Yeah, exactly. He got fired for it, right? Yeah, which is stupid. Which is discrimination, 100%. I mean, yeah. I understand the tattooing your eyeballs. That shit's terrifying. Maybe. That's Get it. over it, dude. <laughs> That's how I feel. Take if it's sc- not in the fucking rule book, then you can't be fired for it. You can make it a rule now and wait for Tattoo Man to die off, but... Okay, but I the fact you. that they changed it during just means that the system sucks and it'll never work. You can always just alter it if it doesn't work. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then you have homeschooling, which is don't leave, which is like teaching from home, obviously. <clears throat> but there's different methods to that. You could do your own method here in Arizona. You don't have to prove any schoolwork. You don't have to do anything except for the standardized testings. And then I think... You might have to submit, like, a report card at the end of the year. Something. Yeah, but that's at your discretion, so. Yeah. They can literally suck it. Exactly. Know? Homeschooling is the easiest way to be neglectful to your kids if you do it wrong. Yeah. And because truancy is not a real thing, guys. Don't be scared of truancy. They tru- tried to get me with that shit all the time growing up. Truancy is a real thing. It exists, but no one's going to do anything about no it. No one's getting in trouble for truancy. Except for your parents, for being shitty, neglectful parents. I guess, if anything, they'll get you taken from them. But yeah, yeah that's what I for mean. the best, right? <laughs> so, uh, I don't know. I, I'm, like I said, I skipped, I ditched school, like, 80% of high school. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and then I quit. <laughs> so, I don't know. Well, and then you got Montessori school which is child led however there are you've got (laughs) you've got in our okay I'll base it off of our experience there's about the kindergarten preschool and kindergarten are together first through fourth are together and fifth through eighth are together so they're all in their own separate little classrooms and uh, it's really cool because there's a bunch of assignments or they call them lessons that you're allowed to do once you're taught how to do them and you can pick and choose what you want to do and when you want to do it uh, well the kid you know not me i can't pick and choose so the child gets to pick what he wants to do talking about Montessori. yeah oh, okay. and then i'm what... like bored to death talking about education i just want you guys to know <laughs> I believe in education, but just a different kind. And then Waldorf school is like imagination. You don't have assignments. You just... What grade do they teach you how to make fire? I don't know. They don't. How do you make a fire? Like, how would you expect it to be explained in a textbook? Well, this could take a while. I mean, I'm just saying it should be uh, something taught, like home economics. It's gone. Mm -hmm. It's gone. 
All we're learning is How a bunch you know of useless gone? bullshit because I keep hearing it from people. Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're a bunch of useless bullshit, calculus and algebra and okay. checkbooks. Nobody does checkbooks anymore, guys. It's gone. So then think um, about it this way. Spelling. Who cares? Everybody has a spell checker on their device. Nobody okay. handwrites no. anything. So think about this. What if, you know, school isn't supposed to be, it, it's been twisted. You're supposed to live your life and get schooling on the side, you know? It's yeah. a hobby, for lack of other words. Uh, and people don't see it that way. They think that school is supposed to teach your child everything. So that's when the parent comes in. Mm. Maybe they shouldn't teach making a fire or cooking at school because they should do it at home. But then that just means that school hours should be cut down, you know? Cut down. That's what I was going to say, because they go to school for the eight hours plus the one hour trip there and back, right? Yeah. And then on top of that, they got two hours worth of fucking homework when exactly. they get home. Exactly. So, and no kid wants to learn how to cook after that. No, you know? hell no. Yeah, but, but cooking is a life essential. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> you got to know how to cook. Otherwise, you grow up eating ramen noodles and bologna sandwiches your whole life. Yeah. So imagine if they had like, an herb teaching class, you know, teach right? you all the Some right shit herbs. Or crystals, yeah, a crystal learning like class, yes. Edible plants. There you go. Yeah. How to survive? Exactly. <laughs> a survival class. How about that? Or, or no. like, a class based on your entire state, right? So imagine I got to go to Arizona class, okay? You know, so Arizona class, they teach you about all the edible plants in Arizona and okay. what regions they're in mushrooms herbs gotcha. how to survive in arizona there you go yeah. using the land that's where you are and then when you move you have to take a class yeah so you... that you know how to survive in that new area that'd be really cool <laughs> right man. like hell yeah we're in missouri let's jump in class today i want to learn <laughs> i just feel like there's so many yeah it should be when you want to get a driver's license for a new state you should have to take a class on that state but no you don't you don't yeah, no, I can I, go in any state and drive with my Arizona license that I got in, like, Mexico, basically. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's wild that us ordinary people can sit here and have a conversation about anything that would make the schools better. Yeah, we just came out with You should be one. educated on your home state. Yep. You know, that's a very important Survival thing to be skills, educated cooking, on. Yeah. Sewing. How come sewing's not taught in school? That's true, yeah. Like, we're just taught to just throw our shit out when it gets a little ripped. Which is so bad for the environment. And buy a new one? <laughs> no, but that's the age of convenience. It wasn't like that in 1900. It wasn't. That's why I can sew. Because <laughs> I was born in 1900, right? <laughs> Back in the day when we all maced each other. I'm talking the big spike ball. Kara once said <laughs> she based, she had, she referenced something and she was like, you start off with nothing and you start building these advancements to the point where you go back down to being dumb because you don't actually know how to function. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. If, if society were to lose the internet and grocery stores, most of us would probably die. Yeah. <laughs> We'd literally. all sit in a hole somewhere eating ramen noodles until we died off. You know like, what I mean? imagine if Walmarts <laughs> were done. Okay. Well, I, I big really, box stores. I really want Walmart to be done. You know, I want to go to a local business where somebody has sewn the clothes. Ooh. You know? And made. Yeah. Where I'd she buy that sits shit. there and she sews them. Everything yep. is one of a kind. Everything is different. You get a rip, you bring it back, we'll fix it for you. Yeah. <laughs> so, why is that so hard? Why? Because we have these big box stores that have taken over the world. Well, and you look at, like, rappers and, like, football players and shit, and they wear all this Louis Vuitton. Yeah. Get out of their half a million dollar car sweatshop. that can't even hold a fucking car seat in the back. Exactly. <laughs> it's, I mean, what kind of period of time were we born in? Dude, we're, as humans, we're fucked, <laughs> is how I feel. I don't feel like humans are going to make it many more hundred years you know what i mean i think if we had a sewing machine like a few more hundred years and i think the human kind is done you would be able to learn a sewing machine uh -huh. okay stay with me okay and learn how to sew clothes yeah i think if you did that you'd be so good at making clothing maybe can i sell them at your store <laughs> 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 there's the real question <laughs> 
I think you can sell them at the store next to ours. Otherwise, we start a commune and I become the tailor. What, that's what I was thinking. You know? <laughs> yeah, but for real, you yeah. make the... I mean, okay, what are people like us born in this century to do? We're supposed to change something. We're supposed to do something. Mm -hmm. We should be getting back to basics. Life's so easy and convenient for us, but yet we sit around and do nothing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, that's why. Think about all of the thousands, hundreds of thousands of hours... I'll admit that we've wasted on video games. Yeah, exactly. Think about it. Hundreds of thousands of... Back in my childhood, it was... Or people older than me, of course, also, like, they climbed trees. You know what I mean? Like, they built clubhouse. Well, they, I didn't really have... They burnt games. down sheds. So they broke had, windows. That's what I we do. I had a do. PlayStation 2, but my dad watched TV 85% of the time, and we weren't allowed to play on it most of oh. most. My dad was a gamer. He he played the PS1 all the time. Yeah, so how many times were you allowed to play it? Talking only in the middle of the night when we snuck it. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's why he always cut the cord. When on I grew up, we were climbing trees, roofs, making clubhouses outside. Yeah. So were you, yeah. you know? So when did the switch happen? Is it our generation that's ruining the kids with the tablets? Yes. Mm. For sure. That's a, that's a big no-no, guys. Yeah, because we're guilty of that. What are you going to do, you know? However, you can look at Connor and say he spends a lot of time on his tablet. No, he never plays with his tablet. You're right. I'm just saying, youth of the nation. You, you, you know what? Kids come over with their with their parents. That You know, kids come over with their parents. <laughs> parents come over with their kids, right? <laughs> and they always have tablets. <laughs> yeah. It's a thing. Everybody's but, kid has a tablet now. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Dude, I had a pager when I was 16. So, <laughs> social media is pretty much the entire problem. That's probably true. So, social imagine trash, the internet dude. without social media. We'd only be using it as a resource, learn was, how to do things and stuff. I believe it was since the very beginning of the internet, it was AOL, chat groups. Chat groups were a thing. So, you can talk to people. You can yeah. always talk to people. Because, yeah. I, you couldn't post your fucking day or put your sexiest photo on your screen or anything like that, but I had a lot of people thinking I was a really big buff black guy. <laughs> Just saying, I did when I was a teenager. They all thought that. Yeah. I had a whole ass tagged account called Big B. <laughs> I was a really big black guy. <laughs> I was very handsome. That's wild. Back when I was young. Yeah, I was a catfish man, but For I never sure. once tried to meet someone. It was just no, chatting, know, you know? I was just I chatting. I mean... I would use the internet for things like learning how to sew or learning how to cook and get other people's ideas and blog posts and stuff. Hmm. But I, you know, it's somehow the age of convenience has really escalated. I mean, look at, I, I do a vlog every day. Like, no offense to the people watching, but think about it. A lot of these people could just either do that themselves or be doing something every day. <laughs> yes, yeah, so But could instead, we. they're with me. You're yeah, on the and computer it's like, all the time. I'm on the computer all, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody. I'm just as bad as the nation right now. There's something... It's not even just the nation. You know what I mean? Like, it's the world. Yeah. It's definitely... Like, you guys notice how many live sleep streams there are? Live sleep streams, okay? The dumbest thing known to man. But we I gotta do it. You know why? Because that's how you beat the system. The, the system's so fucked up. I think that <laughs> if it was a sleep stream where people are looking out into your yard, it'd be sick, but... No, I'm talking watching people snore. Yeah. <laughs> I think that Like wow I want to spend 8 hours Watching him sleep See when I was <laughs> born My motivation I just didn't never existed So when I was 6 or 7 There was a neighbor Across the street from our apartments mm -hmm. And she taught me How to sew a skirt Oh yeah You need people like that Yeah, yeah. And, and her daughter's name was Gillian I remember that but I remember the mom mostly because she taught me how to sew a shirt or a skirt and it was really cool and it was cheetah print and I wish I knew how to do that. But I don't because other people make clothes and I can just buy those. See, it doesn't make any sense. You're going to go donate a half an hour of your time to a shirt? <laughs> what do you mean? Like how long does it take to make enough money to buy a shirt? More than a half hour. Fuck. These days, two hours of work to buy a t-shirt. So one hour a after taxes, like seven dollars. Oh, hell, like in the that's middle. if you want to buy a new one next month. 
Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's how we buy our clothes. That's how we buy our clothes. But I'm just saying, man. I only learned how to sew because my brother shredded my teddy bear and I loved it. I know. With my whole heart. So, I sewed it. I mean, sewing isn't hard. I don't know how to tie things off. That's my biggest problem. That's really simple. It's just like a shoe. <laughs> yeah, but it's too tiny. <clears throat> don't make it tiny. You're not hurting anyone by using this much extra string. I don't know. However, <laughs> I do know that my mother has a sewing machine uh -huh. that she wants me to have. Oh, God. And it's like... You can't put me on another project because I will not be able to breathe. It's like brand new. <laughs> Throw it away. No, Sell it. I would like to learn how to use it. Donate it to uh, a sweatshop. I want to learn how to use it, but I don't know why I want to learn That was a joke. It. You know? Oh, my back. I don't know what I would do with it. I'm not going to wear a shirt that I made from Walmart cloth. Where are we going to get the cloth? The fabric store. How about we just start cutting all of my shirts in half and we sew them together as two shirts? Sick, right? Yeah. Sick, right? Like, you kind of want to do it? <laughs> like, how about we rip See, the arms off my plaids and put different colored plaid arms on them? <laughs> <laughs> you just, you're so confusing because you don't want to learn how to sew. Or you don't encourage learning and making your own clothes, mm -hmm. but you don't like big stores where you buy them either. I'm a product of society. I am not going to lie. Look, I'm wearing a silver bracelet, some spikes. You think somebody made this by hand? No. No, it's definitely in a factory somewhere, right? I got a weird-ass silver earring on. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm a man of society myself. Look at my boots. They don't even tie. <laughs> you just blew everyone's speakers. I know. You say that every, every time. I just... I don't know. It's like learning how to Whole Foods cook, right? Yeah. It's, like, we try. It's so overwhelming we when we first start. We but do it's better like, than when we met. Oh, we're doing fantastic. I'm just saying, like, there's only so many things we could think of. Because we're so, like, indoctrinated with this damn planet that we're like, oh, potatoes, french fries. That's all we can think of. No, <laughs> you don't like things. That's true. I don't You're very picky. Out. I but would make, like a like, a risotto. I don't know, man. I grew up on bologna and cheap hot dogs, that's and I just saying, won't go yeah. back. I'm not going back. <laughs> I know. You were raised on processed foods. Processed shit, yeah. It's just like getting Connor to take a bite of a taco, right? Or a bite of toast. Like, it's so simple. And I grew up on Taco Bell. Yeah. But now all I eat is homemade tacos. You know? Only because there's no Taco Bell nearby. I love Taco Bell. Well, that's why we live here. To go yeah. back to bases. That's true. That's why you move up into the country, into the mountains, and you get back to the bases. There's no gas station here. Yeah, no grocery exactly. store. Nothing, man. Nothing. You run out of gas, you're walking 20 miles. The basics <laughs> sound so comfortable, yeah. right? With a little bit of sprinkle here and there, like I need to dye my hair again. You right. know, I don't know how to hand dye my hair. <laughs> but when it comes to things like food and just conveniences in general, I would like to know how to make my own shampoo and conditioner. I thought we did that already. No. Your boss was supposed to talk to you about that. Didn't she have a oh, bunch of stuff? Oh, I yeah. forgot about that. That was <laughs> like a, a year of, ago. And she does it herself. She makes her own shampoo. Yeah. Well, she did. She decided it was too much for her. Oh. So maybe. There you go. Yeah, that's really <laughs> interesting. I forgot about that. But yeah, going back to basics on the oh. things that are like not hard like hygiene like it's really not that hard to rinse off in water and then to make your own soap it's going to do the job right but how often why is hygiene important talk to me about that besides uh your health you know you can't be dirty you can't be you know, germs and shit but like well that's why shower every day well because throughout the day you accumulate dust and germs what if you and don't? sweat well, what if you live in a bubble how often would you shower if you lived in a bubble well, oh, a lot, because it would be a humid trap. Yeah, but you wouldn't notice it. The smell would you get used to it. I don't know. <laughs> I shower when I feel like I need to. Yeah, same. Yeah. You know, it's... I, I don't shower once a week or anything. Right. If I poop on myself, I shower. Yeah. 
<laughs> but that's what I mean is high, rinsing yourself off goes all the way back to the beginning of humans. Yeah. You know, Well, I just know in like uh like some Asian countries they do it once a month. Yeah, but regardless But maybe it's cuz of resources. I don't know enough. I'm just a stupid human. I don't know anything. Like you know that in Asian countries you have to turn on the water heater before you get in the shower? That's how it is it here too in a lot of places. What? I ain't never heard of that. I saw it on Karate Kid. Oh. Yeah. It's a fun fact. No, it's on Karate Kid. No, I know. Jaden but... Smith doesn't lie. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of definitely clicking on your own water heater, but we need to do that here. We just let ours run all fucking well, day. Just like all day for convenience, our water heater's running. How in other countries, in most other countries. I'm boring her. Air units don't exist. Air what? Units. What do you mean? Central AC. Oh, and it shouldn't. It's bad for the I environment. I think they have like window ACs. It's bad for the environment anyway. But yeah, central AC doesn't yeah. exist in other. Most places don't have it. I've never had is, it. <laughs> we did in an apartment, but that yeah. we don't. You don't need it. Yeah. You have to let your body adapt to the environment around you. Or move somewhere where your body can handle it. Yeah, exactly. Right? Go, Go into with, the mountains. <laughs> I was meant, here in Arizona. Live in the mountains. I was meant to live in Arizona. My body mountains. can definitely handle the heat. You know. Mine cannot. I sweat, I chafe, I bitch. Well, you were conceived in Missouri, so that That's makes right, sense. yeah. I'm a cold blooded monster. That's I right. feel like it's gotta be where you're conceived, right? Because I was, it has to be, yeah. You I were was conceived? conceived in Tucson. Oh uh, born in Michigan, huh? That's really weird. She knows exactly where her mom and dad had sex and conceived her. This spot. The, I have some the couch. interesting family. There's a couch, right? Yeah. It Underneath a couch. the painting. <laughs> it was a couch under a painting. It was obviously a It core... was probably like Drake's photo. It was obviously a core <laughs> memory for him. That's so funny. He walked in and he's like, Oh, did you not pull out? <laughs> it was one of those moments. Bro! <laughs> pregnant! <laughs> oh, God. So he's I like, you like... just chased it. <laughs> so, yeah. So I was conceived in Tucson and I just so naturally set up for this heat. Like, beyond set up for the heat i'm good you know not me man forget that i'm cooking well you're good up here though oh yeah i'm real good up here this is the spot yeah. but i'm saying though if it's warm out and i take a walk <laughs> well maybe that has nothing to again. do with the weather Just but a... that's neither here nor there no so on that note we thank you peace peace <laughs>